Turkey, a hospital team management student from PHMS Lucerne, Switzerland. that I started up together with my sister, our own restaurant here in Lutzen. Uh, we are owners, we are also managers, and we are also uh, part of the service team. My contact details, you can find them um, on the website from Anton's. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Miguna Anton, on Facebook, via email, Miguna at antonsrestaurant.ca. Thank you so much. So, uh, what type of your service are you providing in your restaurant? Why do you prefer this type of service and how can you deliver to each customer? So when it comes to the service that you can find in our restaurant, is um, is really attentive, making sure that all the guests have everything that they need. Also, we are really like careful with having all the glasses refilled. We doing the wine service. We ask them, I think like two three times if everything's alright if they'd like anything else. At the moment we are really like attentive to see all the signs they are giving to us. If they're looking at us, if they're making eye contact with us, that means that we go to the table, they want something. We're not really waiting for them to call us or anything. We want to make them sure that we are there for them at any time and if they need anything we're gonna make sure that they will get. So we always they also try to connect with them on more of a personal level, not being only the client and the service person and trying to make their experiences personalized as uh, possible because yeah all, all of our guests need to make uh, really try to make sure that they're like, feeling like individuals they're like someone special for us it's not just a group of people they're coming and leaving and uh, how can you deliver your service for international customer how many language of international employee that you have do you provide for those guests uh, who have different background or culture to maintain your quality of service so honestly, like I'm proud to say that we have a really international team. We have people from Croatia, uh, Montenegro, we have now from Lithuania, from Greece, us from Romania. So I really think that we are an international team. Yes. Oh, and for sure you have our English menu and... Yeah, we have the English menus. Also the website is both in English and in German for our international guests. And yeah, if there is anything that they cannot really understand, we are there to support them or translate it or try to show them photos or anything to make it understandable to them. Wow. Uh, as a manager, what are you doing to increase guest personal enjoyment during service? Do you have some special gift or service for those guests who come for that special event such as birthday, celebration, anniversary, dinner or new year party? So as a manager, uh, we had many anniversary dinners or special occasions, birthday parties and so on. Honestly, what we are doing is like getting the whole team together. We offer them a dessert, usually the um, Anton's dessert, the most special one that we have. And then we have always uh, candles and mini fireworks. We uh, bring all the team together from the kitchen team to say this bartender and everyone. And we just start clapping and uh, singing happy birthday. And then the whole restaurant starts like singing with us. So we make that person really feel special about uh, this, uh, I don't know, birthday, whatever anniversary mm -hmm. they have. So yeah, and for the New Year uh, party, we had also like uh, fireworks, we opened champagne with the whole team and also one glass of champagne was uh, for all of our guests. Uh, can you describe uh, the ambience and the physical factor of your restaurant that influence your customer experience, including lightning, music, smell or color? How do those elements affect the guest satisfaction? During, uh, during the yeah, night service, evening service, we put the lights like pretty down to make them and like we have all the candles lighted up to make a more cozy and uh, yeah, peaceful atmosphere and the end, so they feel relaxed and like switching off from the uh, day with their own routines and so on. During the day, of course, it's uh, more light and like the music is also more like uh, entertaining more or less. Mm -hmm. For the night, it's like more chill uh, music. We have different playlists for the, each part of the day. 
And about the smell, we have uh, our special smell in Antons that uh, it's from Richard Zanasi. I really think that a smell can make the guest experience even better because they stick to this smell. And then uh, they, the moment they will feel this smell somewhere else, so they, they will remember about this place. It's like they associate the smell with the place that they are in. As contemporary, this COVID situation has impacted the hospitality industry in many ways. So, which accent do your restaurant do to remain the restaurant standard of hygienate and follow the urgent restriction for the ultimate guest satisfaction? Especially, uh, we have the disinfectants that like they are placed they need to be in the public areas. You need to have at the entrance the papers that are showing the regulation that you need to wear the face mask when you are standing up and going to the toilet. Now it's the rule refer to G that you can only accept the vaccinated uh, person when they can come in. And yeah, definitely we are like following the hygienic standards no matter what the corona or not corona we need to yeah. uh, keep our uh, standards when it comes to cleanliness of the restaurant. And As the customer feedback is so important to analyze the guest experience, how can you collect the feedback and make use of those comments to improve your business? This is we also see what our uh, guests ask for. Sometimes they are asking us, do you have this, do you have this? And then we make sure that in the next period we can provide them with this. Um, first of all, we make sure that they can feel free, that they can talk to us even like face to face or personally mm -hmm. when they are there, or send us emails by any time. And now, since one month, we have this uh, TripAdvisor card that we put them inside of the bill. So every guest uh, at the end of their experience, when they ask for the check, we give them also this card. Some of them, they leave a comment on TripAdvisor or on Google review. Some others uh, even like texted us via email what they saw, how they felt about it, if there's anything that you can improve. And then we make sure that we reply to all of our reviews online or via email and that they are being taken into consideration. Now it's come to the end of the interview. Would you like to add up anything? Well, not really. I hope I could help you and you're going to have a great uh, outcome for this project. Thank you so much for this interview. It was a real pleasure to have this interview going on. And uh, thank you for your interest into our place. Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> thank you. After we have talked with Mirna and Anton, we have learned that how can Anton restaurant gain the guest experience of satisfaction, the designing of the restaurant, how the stuff is going around the hospitality industry that they try to create, how can they stay hygienic according to the contemporary situation, which is uh, they can collect the feedback and also they can improve it in the future to maintain the guest satisfaction. Thank you everybody to watching this and hope everybody gained some knowledge from it.